In yesterday's video, there were a lot of people interested or concerned maybe about my audio. I think I fixed the problem. The plug wasn't plugged in all the way. Everything should be much better now. I'm excited for this. I'm very, very excited for this. As you're aware, this camera was not cheap and this microphone was not cheap, so I was hoping that nothing went to hell already. After I edited the entire video yesterday and watched the video, like I didn't even catch that, but I saw like five or six comments referring to the audio, and I'm like, man, what the heck is going on? So when I put the SD card in right before I started filming this video, I realized that the microphone was just slightly unplugged. So maybe that's why only the left side was picking up. Not really sure, but I'm hoping that fixed it. If so, leave that in the comment section below. It should. It should. This thing. Every garage should use this. Well, every garage that works on the same stuff that I work on. I've already opened it. I already know what's in here. What do you think's in here? Like seriously, leave it in the comment section below. You're about to find out in two seconds. Just know that it weighs about, uh, I'd say about 20 pounds, uh, maybe about 15 pounds. It's this big. Leave in the comment section, I wanna see some ridiculous comments. Or I wanna see some very truthful comments. Or accurate comments. No, it's not a dog. It's an ultrasonic cleaner. A relatively clean, shiny, and sophisticated ultrasonic cleaning machine. This is gonna come in handy. Very, very handy. It has a parts cleaning tray and instructions. Nobody needs instructions. You know what, I might need those instructions. Let me just read them. Oh man. I really thought that this was the bath model. From now on, every garage I own is going to own one of these. As long as it works. We haven't, we haven't tried it out yet. So maybe every garage doesn't need one of these. The main reason why I bought that ultrasonic cleaner was for the GS. The GS has four carburetors. All four carburetors were absolutely roached. The bike doesn't run the best. This ultrasonic cleaner should clean those carburetors up pretty dang good. At least that's what a lot of mechanics say. So I bought one, we're gonna try it out. But unfortunately I don't have very much time so I can't like tear into the GS today. But I do have another carburetor that needs some work. Something slightly smaller and slightly newer. I think this is a 2015. Yeah, I can't really ride this thing, but it does need to be fixed. I bought a carburetor kit for it. It has like diaphragms and, and like a small filter and things that are supposed to fix the carburetor. But I think what the problem is, is it's got like two stroke oil junk in here. So I figured this would be the ultrasonics first victim. It's quick, it's easy. And it's the weekend, my girlfriend wants to do things. I wanna to go to Jake's party. Jake's having a party. I wanna to go to Jake's party. Wouldn't you wanna to go to Jake's party? Here is the carburetor to that leaf floor. I'm going to tear it apart, take out the kit that I've already installed in this thing, get it down to its bare bones, and then fill this thing up, try it out. This is a perfect little test run. I think I've taken everything off that I really need to. Now I'm going to fill this thing up with some purple power and some water. Let it rip. Oh, whoa, whoa. This thing's freaking me out. Is this supposed to make that noise? So here's the situation. I actually went to Jake's last night. This is the following day. It all happened so quickly, doesn't it? Anyways, I wanna show you what happened to this carburetor. It's been sitting for a couple hours and it turned black. Like, it is black. You saw what it looked like just a couple frames ago. I'm hoping that it'll clean itself once I push the start button again. Check this out. That's not good. So this thing might have already created more work than I anticipated, but it is my fault. I should have taken it out, cleaned it up with carb cleaner, and then reinstalled it. Now we're gonna see if it can re-clean itself. I don't know.
That carburetor might have looked like crap, but I think I have it dialed in. This thing runs better than my KTM now. Update. The carburetor was still black. Put it in the ultrasound cleaner for 20 minutes. The inside, the outside of the carburetor was black. I sprayed it down with carb cleaner, put it back together. The engine is running very good. The carburetor is working. I think the purple power etched the carburetor, so I'm not going to use purple power anymore. I did some research and I found a forum. There was one guy that seemed like he was like really intelligent. He gave the product names that he was using, so that's what I bought. It was very expensive, but uh, I want really good results, especially when it comes to the GS. So if anybody else has an ultrasound cleaner and you have any tips, leave it in the comment section, but I, but I did order some supplies and it's supposed to be good stuff. Today is Father's Day, so I do want to wish all you fathers a happy Father's Day. I'm going to see my dad. I'm going to give him a 3D Machine shirt because he deserves it. I don't see him very often, but I do appreciate what he did for me in the past and, and what he's doing for me now. Without him, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't see this video. It's, it's awesome. If anybody's looking for any sort of 3D Machines apparel, the link, I think it's the first link in the description. Click on that, check it out. Even if you don't want to buy anything right now, maybe in the future for birthdays, for any anything, no matter what the occasion is, you'll look froggy fresh wearing one. I'm, I'm telling you, trust me. I ran out of time yesterday, so I'm going to finish this video up today and then start today's video for tomorrow. It's gonna to be busy.